Hi guys. In this video you will find out about common as well as less known facts about the mobs in the nether. There are 9 unique mobs that spawn only in the nether. Let's check them out. A piglin is a neutral mob found in the nether. They spawn in groups in nether wastes and crimson forest biome, as well as bastion remnants upon generation where they do not despawn. They are not immune from fire damage and will die from it. Adults have an 8.5% chance of dropping the held item. A golden sword or crossbow with random durability. Each looting level increases this chance by 1%. When blown up by a charged creeper, piglin will drop its head. It can be given gold ingots to barter for various items. The item the piglin throws after bartering may be one of the following. Like other mobs capable of picking up items, piglins pick up armor and weapons. Piglins pick up armor that is better than the armor they are already wearing, although they prefer gold over stronger armor. Piglins are also capable to pick up items that are listed under the piglin love tag with the exception of gold nuggets, which piglins pick up instantly to trigger the O Shiny achievement. Piglins do not want any other items, even if they are related to gold in some way. Items picked up by a piglin do not drop when the piglin is killed. Adult piglins are neutral if the player is wearing at least one piece of golden armor. Piglins are provoked by any player who will do the following. Is not wearing any piece of gold armor. Attacks a piglin or piglin brute regardless if the player kills it in one hit or not. Opens or breaks a chest or any other storage blocks. Breaks a block of gold or blocks similar to gold ore. Piglins are afraid of zombified piglins and sofi light sources. They will run from them when encountered. When in the overworld or the end, piglins transform into zombified piglins after 15 seconds, retaining their armor, held items, and their name. However, they cannot shoot a crossbow, using it instead as a melee weapon. Piglins sometimes attack hoglins, causing other piglins in that area to attack the targeted hoglin as well. After defeating a hoglin, piglins have a 10% chance to do a victory dance by bobbing their heads and sticking out their arms like a T-pose. The more piglins there are, the bigger chance of a hunt might happen. A piglin brute is a hostile and stronger variant of piglins that appears in all types of bastion remnants. Unlike piglins, they do not barter, retreat, or be diverted by gold, instead always charge at the player on sight with their golden axes. Piglins brutes have 50 health, which makes them very tanky. They do not have a baby variant. A piglin brute has 8.5% chance of dropping a golden axe with a random durability of killed by a player or a tamed wolf, increased by 1% with each level of looting. Piglin brutes, along with vindicators, deal a high amount of melee damage, inflicting 9.75 points of damage on hard difficulty. Similar to normal piglins, piglin brutes will transform to the zombified piglins in the overworld or the end. A zombified piglin is a neutral, undead variant of the piglin that inhabits the nether. Zombified piglins normally ignore players, but if one is attacked, all zombified piglins in the vicinity become enraged and attack the aggressor with their golden swords. Zombified piglins spawn in groups in the nether at light level 11 and below on most blocks other than nether wart block. When a nether portal block in the overworld receives a random tick, there is a chance of 0.15% on hard difficulty for it to spawn a zombified piglin. They drop from 0 to 1 rotten flesh and gold nuggets upon death. They also have 2.5% chance to drop one gold ingot, and 8.5% chance to drop the weapon it is holding. Unlike other zombie variants, zombified piglins do not attack villagers and wandering traders. A hoglin is a breedable hostile mob found in the nether. They are repelled by warp fungi that is placed in the world as well as out of nether portals and respawn anchors. Hoglin attacks by thrusting its tusks upward, which can also launch its target a short distance into the air. Baby Hoglins behave similarly, but have a much weaker attack with normal knockback and flee when hit. Hoglins are found in houses of 3 or 4 in Crimson Forest as well as certain types of Bastion remnants upon structure generation. Adult Hoglins drops from 2 to 4 raw pork chop, and from 0 to 1 leather when killed. If a hoglin spawns and moves to the overworld or the end, it shakes and then transforms into a zoglin after 15 seconds. Zoglins are hostile toward all mobs except creepers, gas, and other zoglins. Hoglins can be bred with crimson fungi and are the only hostile mob that can do this. A magma cube is a hostile mob found in the nether. A magma cube behaves similarly to a slime, but is fireproof, jumps higher and less often, and deals more damage. 
Magma cubes spawn in areas of the nether at all light levels. The space they spawn in must be clear of solid obstructions and liquids. Due to being inherently fireproof, magma cubes can spawn on magma blocks. They usually drop between 0 and 1 magma cream upon death. It can be increased by 1 per level of looting. When a magma cube is killed, it splits into two, three or four smaller magma cubes. Tiny magma cubes disappear when killed, like other mobs. When they are in lava, they hover and try to move to nearby land. Striders are the only passive mobs native to the nether. They can walk slash stride on lava. They drop 2 to 5 string on death. For every strider that spawns, there's a 1 in 10 chance of an additional baby strider to spawn riding on top of the previous strider. Zombified, pavelins have a 1 in 30 chance of spawning on top of a strider. The player can ride on an adult strider using a saddle. Similar to how pigs are controlled using a carrot on a stick, striders move forward automatically while their direction is influenced using a warp fungus on a stick. A speed of 4.40 meters per second if on a flat lava surface or 1.74 meters per second if on land. They walk especially slowly against the lava flow direction. They walk much more slower if they are not in lava and their texture also changes. If striders are given warp fungus, they breed to create baby striders. Gas are large, floating hostile mobs that live in the nether and shoot explosive fireballs at the player. To spawn naturally, the gas requires a solid block below it and a free space of 5x5 five five blocks wide and 4 blocks high. They drop from 0 to 1 gas tier and from 0 to 2 gunpowder upon death. Gas float around the nether with their eyes and mouth closed and periodically make crying sounds, which can be heard from up to 80 blocks away. They shoot fireballs at players, dealing damage to nearby blocks and entities. This fireballs can be deflected by the player. Gas are part of the uneasy alliance advancement which requires the player to bring it safely home to the overworld and kill a gas while it is there. The blaze is a hostile mob that attacks by firing a trio of fireballs or can attack the player that gets too close to them with the spinning rods. Blazes may spawn naturally in nether fortresses in groups of two or three at a light level of 11 or less. Blazes spawn from monster spawners in nether fortresses. The spawners are located on small platforms with a three block staircase leading up to it. A blaze may drop from zero to one blaze rods. They are required in order to access the end and beat the ender dragon. Blazes are immune to damage from fire and lava. They fly, but when not attacking they stay on the ground or sink down slowly through the air. Blazes target players within 48 blocks. If a blaze is damaged by a player or other mob, it alerts other blazes within 48 blocks to target the attacker. Wither skeletons are tall black variants of skeletons that are equipped with stone swords that inflict the poison-like withered effect. They spawn in other fortresses at a light level between 0 and 7, in groups of up to 4. Wither skeletons drop from 0 to 2 bones. They have 33% chance to drop one coal, 8.5% chance of dropping their unenchanted stone sword which has a random durability and 2.5% chance to drop a wither skeleton skull. These skulls are used to summon the wither, an optional boss in Minecraft. Some wither skeletons may have the capacity to pick up drop gear in normal and hard difficulties. The chance depends on regional difficulty, with up to 55% of them capable of picking up swords higher than stone tier plus any armor. This is it for the video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.